Welcome to Virtual Realms. You heard from me earlier describe the six ambitious reimaginings of video games. Now we're going to go see them in real life. Come with me. Welcome to the realm of synesthesia. Be prepared to be transported to a new dimension where visuals can be felt and sounds can be seen. Let's go inside and take a look. In synesthesia, it's an experience for four participants at any one time, where you're creating a performance in sound and light and movement. So in this first part of the experience, it's very minimal. There's just a beat, and each one of these spheres controls a different part of it. And as you move the sphere around the space, you start to change the sound. and you can bring the spheres together to make the river more complex. So now we have more than just the sound and the light to interact with, we have these visuals. We start to create these, these bubbles and then we can pop them on the beat. So all the visuals are in perfect synchronicity with the, with the soundtrack and we're making the soundtrack, we're informing it with each interaction. In the realm of unity, we explore how movement, light and sound can create musical composition. Come with me to see how your presence in the space can create melody and music. So as I step under this sculpture, it starts to respond to my presence. Under each different ring, I get a light above my head and a sound. And as I move, we get different sounds. And as more people enter the space, we get more sounds. And it starts to create a piece of music. As we hop from ring to ring, we can change the composition. But there's something else you can do in the space as well. If we all come together under one of the rings, the sculpture acknowledges our collaboration and it starts to respond differently. The music breaks down and it plays this beautiful composition, this what we call this unity moment, where the sculpture celebrates our coming together to create this, this special moment. And the space goes from darkness to being fully lit, so we can see who we've been collaborating with to create this music. The realm of play celebrates the joyful and performative elements of video games. So grab your helmet and come with me and play. So in this space, we have these big soft toy objects, which exist both in the physical and the virtual world. And you and your friends can play together in both these spaces. So the aim is to be as, as performative, joyful and silly as possible in these different vignettes of play which are, which are projected onto the virtual space. So in this one we have these the kind of digital balls which you can move around with your physical objects, but you can also colour them with your helmet. So on the yellow helmet, so if I jump around, I'm going to colour all these balls the same colour as me. <laughs> the realm of connection is two gallery spaces, two totally different worlds. One, the microscopic, the other, the galactic. Let's go inside and see how we can communicate between the two. So here in the microscopic, we have these cellular forms which respond to your presence. And 
you can move them around the surface. But there's another layer of interaction. There's a, a portal into the galactic world. And these groups of smaller cells you can see, these aren't random, these, aren't, these are other life forms. These are people on the other side of the wall. And you can try and build a connection with them. You can try and bring their presence, their energy, into this realm from the galactic realm. And just as I can see this person on the other side, they can see me trying to communicate with them. In the realm of narrative, we explore how video games are a new form of storytelling. Come with me and explore the world of rhyme. So in this installation, we've reimagined the world of rhyme into this big 360 degree projection, which you can interact with. And you can move from scene to scene, solve puzzles in the, in the world, in the game of rhyme. So if I step into this light, this energy ball starts to move around the space. And I can use it to kill monsters. But this is not going to move the scene on. There's another puzzle. There's something I need to figure out. So if I launch another and follow it around the space. And then maybe I'll try and trigger it over this heap of junk. In the realm of everything, we explore how video games can create these vast near infinite universes and give form to our imagination. Let's go in and explore what David O'Reilly and 1.0 have created. So in this space, we have three controllers and each one has a different effect on this cascade of, of objects coming through the screen. So this one, you can manipulate the perspective of the objects around the objects, so you can twist them. And then over here, you can change the scale of the objects. So here I'm making them bigger and bigger, but I can shrink them as well. And then finally, I can add visual effects. I can blur them. And we'll start to have a trail. But we don't just want people to interact in this space. We want them to sit back and enjoy this psychedelic experience and enjoy the beautiful music from the London Symphony Orchestra. And that was Virtual Realms Video Games Transformed. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And thank you so much to all the artists, designers who created this fantastic exhibition. I hope you get to come visit it very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>